Brandon Boylan is puttering around his kitchen, making himself a snack. Today, it's a banana and a carefully measured scoop of peanut butter. The 23-year-old looks pretty healthy, but not long ago, he looked like this. My lowest weight, I'm five foot six on a good day, standing up really straight, and I got down to 103 pounds. Brandon says his problem started in his late teens. He had been heavier as a child, but discovered exercise and eating healthier but it soon spiraled out of control. I refused to eat nuts if it wasn't in the 100 calorie packs. There was one point when I wouldn't even drink a whole protein shake because it was too much. I would do half a scoop of protein shake and half an apple and consider that dinner. But the more weight he lost, the better he thought he looked when he saw himself in the mirror. I saw The Rock, I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger, I saw cover model six pack abs, except Brandon Boylan in that light. Family, friends, even co-workers were seeing Brandon waste away. They begged him to get help. There's a monster inside of you. I know I would have died. And Brandon says he would have died if it hadn't been for the Eating Disorder Center at San Antonio or Ed Casa. While there, his father gave him an ultimatum. And my dad looked me directly in the eyes and he said, you have a choice to make. You either do what you have to do to get better and I'll be right there with you every single step of the way or I'm leaving because the one thing I will not do is watch my son die and you're going to die. More people die each year from eating disorders than from any other psychiatric disorder. Ronald Holder is a clinician at Ed Casa. He says eating disorder symptoms are basically the same in men and women. With men though, there is this added component of masculinity and what it means to be masculine. And so a lot of times they just have trouble coming forward. An estimated 10 to 15% of men suffer from some type of eating disorder. Here are some of the symptoms. An obsession with exercise and counting calories. Negative comments about their body. Talk of good and bad foods and a denial of hunger. Some of the families might see, you know, my, my son is saying he's not hungry at breakfast and lunch and he's only eating dinner every day. That is a, a, a big red flag that something's wrong. While in treatment, Brandon had to give up control of food and develop a different relationship with it. It wasn't easy. For breakfast, I had bacon for the first time in probably a good five years. And bacon is one of my favorite foods. For lunch, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I called my friend Lindsay absolutely in tears to the point I had to pull the car over and park. Brandon was in treatment for three months and today he proudly gives us a tour of his fridge filled with food. He says he has the support of family, friends and his church. He also says he now eats six to seven times a day, but it's still a battle every single day. I'm better, but there's still a long, long way to go. Brandon says he wasn't in treatment long enough because his insurance ran out. Now, typically, the recovery process takes five to ten years. If you or a loved one needs help, we've posted a link to Ed Casa on our website. Just visit foxsanantonio.com. Ted Garcia, Fox News at 9.